Good morning. <laughs> um, as you know from the title of this video, I'm running a marathon today. <laughs> I have mixed, very mixed feelings about it. I am excited, but nervous. Anyways, excited to get it over with already. Oh, that's awful. <laughs> um, Blaze is sleeping, so I gotta be kind of quiet. So turn your volume up if you need. Um, I just let myself sleep in this morning, had a good sleep, woke up, have had a slower morning. I don't even know what time it is. Oh, okay. It's already 9.30 and I was hoping to get out at 10, so that's fine. Um, yeah. Okay. I've been training for like eight months pretty casually. <laughs> so hopefully it's paid off. Um, yeah. Okay. So this morning I had a big glass of water and lemon trying to get really nice and hydrated. Um, and then I had a big glass of celery juice. I did a ton of juicing. Um, so before I go out, I'm going to have this big glass of cucumber, apple, and kale. It's like mainly apple. Um, and then I have this bottle of like apple and then a little bit of cucumber for a drying run that'll go in my belt. And then I have this one of the same cucumber and apple. Um, so I'm doing, so that's for during my run. And then after I'm going to have this shot of apple, ginger and turmeric. Ginger and turmeric are super good for like inflammation, so hopefully that'll help. Um, that'll be after my run before I have a huge meal. Um, so I'm doing the first half by myself and then I'm meeting Blaze and then he's going to do the second half with me. He's going to bike. Um, so I'll be able to like give him all my stuff and he can just have it in a backpack so that'll be nice. Um, but for the first half, I'm going to wear this belt with this bottle. Um, and then in the pocket, I just have a mask, um, my MasterCard, and some Kleenex. Never know, um, just in case. I'm also going to wear somewhere these leggings. Um, I have this running top on, sports bra, and it's like three degrees out so I'm gonna wear a lot of layers because I can always take them off. I'm just gonna wear this like sweater and then on top I'm gonna wear this windbreaker. Um and then I'm gonna put the buff on my head, braid my hair. Also gonna coconut oil some spots of my feet that like kind of rub. Um running socks and yeah also need to write a little list um, for Blaze of some things to bring. Um, so I'll do that because he is sleeping. When he wakes up, I'll already be gone. Hey, I'm gonna try and film the first half like a couple times, but definitely not much. Blaze will film more when he's with me, so that'll be good. Um, not too sure what I'm gonna listen to. I have some podcasts downloaded have some music, might just have nothing, I'll kind of see how I'm feeling, and yeah, oh, and I'm gonna wear gloves, yeah, because it is chilly, okay, I think I'm gonna drink my juice now, and do a little meditation, maybe do some journaling quick, because I am a little nervous, got a little, a little anxiety in there, so I just kind of want to be nice and calm before. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. I think that's all I wanted to say. Okay. That's it. In there. Oh, another one. Hi. Is that it? <laughs> I'm at like nine kilometers now. I'm just going to have um, a drink. I feel good. I picked a good day. Energy wise, good. I'm getting a little hot, but I feel like I get war. I got a bad of clothes. Um, not gonna take this off because that's just gonna be annoying. I'll just wait till I meet up with Blaze. Um, and yeah.
I mean, I'm only nine kilometers in, but so far, I feel good. <laughs> Halfway done. Picked up Blaze. Had the most glorious pee. And we're going. Um, yeah, my legs are getting pretty noodly, but other than that, I feel good. Go. 12. 12 kilometers to go. Home stretch. Two kilometers left. Oh. How are you feeling? My legs hurt very much. I feel like they're 100 years old. <laughs> Other than that, and like a bit of brain fog, you're pretty good. Good. Really excited to be done though. Yeah. Really hungry. But was a lot better than I thought. Good. Thanks for coming. No problem. How do you feel? Great. Even better after your waffle. Yep. <laughs> Did you get it? did it. That hurt. That was great though. I didn't think it would go that well. I'm proud of I'm you. Alive. Thank you. Oh, it feels so good just to stand here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, now it's like the come down. Oh, yeah. maybe that's what that means. Yeah. Oh, literally, it's like, oh, shit. Um, it's a little rough going downstairs, but you know, it's just how it's gonna go. Got my shot here, which I really want to take right now, but I don't know where I can put you. I'll hold you in my legs and have the worst possible angle. It's okay. Thank you. You gotta drive. Okay. There we go. Oh. I don't know. I'm just gonna go slow right here for you. No, I'm good. I'm good. Oh, so I don't dri dribble this everywhere? Yeah. Oh! Okay. I thought that was gonna be way more to American gingery, but it's actually nice. Mm, that's enjoyable. Oh, ginger and turmeric are super good for like inflammation. So I'm just like gonna drink these for the next couple days and be freaking good to go. Okay, we're home. Got some comfy clothes on. I'm sore. I'm starting to feel a little iffy. Sorry, this vlog is not gonna be cute or aesthetically pleasing, nor am I going to be today. But I think that is okay, considering I just ran 42 kilometers. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, I'm just starting to feel a little, a little yucky. Um, really quite exhausted. So I think I need to eat this giant plate of food and just relax. Got a bunch of bananas, persimmons, and romaine. I'm very excited. And also, I don't know what's up with this red happening here. No idea, but whatever. We're just going with it. Okay. I'm going to devour this. Yes. I hope this helps. My legs are very sore. My toes are the worst. I have like huge calluses on each of my toes. Um, and they're very sore. <laughs> Other than that, I'm doing okay. I feel like I got like a head cold happening. I know it's probably just like, cause I'm very tired. My head feels pretty weird. 
it's not bad it's just not normal um and even though like i ate a lot of food and my stomach's full i feel like i just i'm like kind of ravenous <laughs> um I ended up eating all that food plus two more bananas. <laughs> um, palaces are the worst. Should I just show you? I have just very large calluses on the end of my toes. And they're sore. So, if anyone has callus tips, like I know how to get rid of them. I just want to prevent them from coming back, you know? So if anyone has any tips on that. But yeah, so I'm just gonna have a bath. I might have a little nap on the couch and then I'll make some dinner. Okay, got my dinner here. I have a large plate of potatoes and romaine lettuce. Got french fries, got little roasted potatoes and a big bowl of broccoli and green beans and then there's also asparagus that is still steaming with lemon juice yum mm, so excited and we're gonna watch a movie what's the movie inside man inside man there he is hello <laughs> actually not as bad as I thought they would be. Um, I feel a lot better today. Not that I felt bad yesterday, but definitely not like 100% and I'm feeling a lot better today. I woke up at like 7 and just laid in bed for like an hour and a half and just um, read for a while, um, journaled, drank some water. Yeah, now I'm ready to get my day started, semi. I'm still very tired, um, but I'm gonna have a nice relaxing day. I gotta get some stuff done, like cleaning, laundry, whatnot, um, but it's still gonna be a nice relaxing day and I'm excited for that. I'll try to get out for a walk at some point and just like, loosen the legs up, probably do a stretch, um, but yeah, and I need to like shower and whatnot, but that's it for this Sunday, um, I think I will make some juice, definitely I'm gonna eat a lot of food today. I can already feel it when I woke up. Like, I'm not one to wake up and be hungry, but today I was just like, oh man. Yeah, I'm hungry. Here's my celery juice. Much better. Oh, just had the nicest hot shower. Just been freezing all day i'm sure having banana ice cream doesn't help but it's so good oh i'm still pretty tired i'm really glad that i'm not working today because that would be brutal um i also have tomorrow off too which is nice so blaze and i are just gonna have an editing day um yeah okay i don't even know if i told you how long it took me to run my marathon it ended up being four hours and 34 minutes which i am pretty happy about i feel good about that i did not like i pushed at the end because i was just like obviously it's the end and um, I really wanted to walk, but I pushed it to keep running. But other than that, like the first 30 kilometers, like I probably could have gone a little bit faster. Um, I did not push it. 
I look so tired. So I probably could have could have gone a lot faster the first 30 kilometers, but I didn't want to push it too hard and then regret it later. So I'm happy that I did it slow and kept my heart rate really low. Um, so yeah, I think that in the future, like this was just like kind of preparation for the Toronto Marathon in the spring that I am signed up to run. <laughs> um, so I just kind of wanted to get a marathon like under my belt and see how that goes first. And then yeah, so just kind of a little trial run before the Toronto Marathon in the spring and then I'll probably try to go a little bit faster then. And like I won't have Blaze with me obviously so I won't be like chatting and like kind of hanging out. <laughs> um, so it'd be more incentive to like push it a little bit more. I think I'll be able to get around four hours, four and a half. I don't know, don't quote me on that. We'll see when the spring rolls around, but I think I'd be able to do that. I'm really happy that I didn't push it harder though. Like I, my legs are pretty sore today, so I couldn't imagine what they'd be like if I um, was faster. Um, they're not horrible, like went for a walk and it was fine. Just feels like I had like a big workout and they're just sore. Um, but my energy today is pretty low. Um, a little bit of brain fog, but it's gone now that I ate. I think I was just like over hungry and didn't really know because I didn't really feel that hungry, but it was good to eat. <laughs> I definitely look tired. Sometimes I think like, ah, oh, I shouldn't film because I look so tired or like not great or I have greasy, yucky hair. Or sometimes I'm like, oh, I should like put makeup on that I don't even own, but I should buy makeup and start doing my makeup. And it's just like, that's not me. And I want to be like, true and authentic and sometimes that's just how I look sometimes I have greasy hair and I don't wear makeup and sometimes I look like this and I look tired I don't understand how other youtubers that I watch like always look so good like props to you for just looking good all the time I <laughs> I don't understand that in this reality of mine I don't so yeah I just need to be okay with that and that's the reality of life as Kelsey and that's okay <laughs> I am going to do some cleaning I'm going to muster up the energy to get some cleaning done and some laundry and then I'm gonna reward myself with maybe a nap on the couch and maybe some reading because that's kind of all I feel like doing today is laying down and reading but you know the house ain't gonna clean itself so and it really it's not gonna take that long like I think oh my god there's so much but it'll probably take me like half an hour it'll be fine um but yeah I'm happy about the marathon I did better than I thought I would which is great. I'm very proud of myself. Eight months of training and I finally did it. And now I feel really good. Um, yeah, I want to make a video like talking all about like my training and running experience and like things I would have done differently. Um, so I'll make that in the next couple of weeks. So if you have any questions regarding running or my marathon, training, whatnot, make sure to leave them in the comments down below. Ask me your questions so I can uh, answer those. Um, but yeah, so I think for the next like three months, like it's end of November now. So I'm just going to take it easy for like a week. Um, I'll probably take today's Sunday, probably take today, tomorrow, and Tuesday 
off completely from exercise and then maybe Wednesday I'll like go out for like a little run maybe do like some body weight stuff like abs or that um and we'll just see how that goes but I'm gonna have a chill week and then December January and February I want to focus a little bit more on like body weight training getting a little bit more tone maybe building some muscle um for the next three months and then and i'm still gonna run though like i want to keep my endurance good um but just kind of like focusing a little bit more on like body weight stuff and then for march and april i'm going to ramp up my running to get ready for the toronto marathon which i think is in may um yeah so that's my plan for the next couple months for working out. Still probably like training three to four times a week. That feels good to me for about an hour, hour and a half. Um, and yeah, I'm happy about that. I feel good. I feel really good about my like training and all that so far. Let's go do some cleaning so then I can uh, relax some more. done. I feel much better now. Still tired though. Ugh, okay. I think I'm gonna read and then have a nap. I am reading Malibu Rising. I don't know if I ever said that. I'm like halfway done. I'm enjoying it. Ooh, I had a really nice nap. And then I just did some like online shopping for Christmas presents for the fam. And now I'm going to have this beautiful bowl of persimmons for a snack. And then I should probably do a stretch. I'm feeling pretty stiff. It's been pouring rain. I was hoping to get out for another walk and like loosen the legs, but yeah, it's been raining. I don't really feel like walking in the rain, maybe tonight, but yeah. Um, so I'm just gonna do a really nice stretch and loosen them up. Feeling really good though, especially after that nap. Other than like having stiff legs, feeling like 100%. Um, oh, I also wanna say that fueling with just cucumber and apple juice was really great i felt so good like i didn't hit a wall i was kind of nervous i wasn't sure um about how much um or how i was gonna feel like stomach wise but yeah it was really really awesome i can't imagine like running and eating something and actually digesting it so i just was like i just want to have liquids because you don't have to digest it so um, extra blood and energy is not going into the digestion at all. Just some great carbs and sugars straight to the bloodstream. Also don't have to like wait for food to digest to get that energy. So that's why I just decided to have juice and it worked so, so perfectly for me. I think I ended up juicing like 10 apples. <laughs> it was a lot, but yeah, I'm really happy with that. Um, what else? I think that's it. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do a stretch and then probably start dinner in a bit and I'll show you that. But I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching this vlog. Um, I'll of course show you my dinner, but I'm just gonna kinda talk now and then I'll be done for the night for talking. Um, so yes, thank you so much for watching and being here on my running journey. It's been good and I hope you stick around because it's just starting I wasn't sure I thought maybe I was gonna run this marathon and be like I'm never doing that again but I I liked it I did it was really really hard but 
I'm happy about it and I think I'll keep doing it. So yeah, hope you stick around for that. Um, and like I said, let me know all your running questions, whatever it is. I'm gonna make a video just ch chatting all about like my training and my marathon and what I would have done differently. Pros, cons, all that. So let me know what you're uh, wondering. Okay, yes, thank you. Please subscribe if you have not. Really helps me out, still trying to grow my channel and I really appreciate it. Okay, hope everyone is doing well. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you again soon. Here's my dinner. Have three massive sweet potatoes, steamed kale and peas with lemon and romaine. Mm. And there's Blaze. What are we watching? Night on Earth. Yeah, I'm excited. 90s. 90s.